You know, I've asked many friends. I got Roger Stone coming on. You wouldn't believe the wildly different opinions I have. I wrote some of them down. Some of them said he's a national treasure and he's a American hero. Some says that guy's not in jail. Some says that guy is a treasonist and he should be locked up. Mm. Why are you such a polarizing figure? Because uh, I tell you what I really think, uh, because I've beaten a lot of Democrats in elections, uh, because uh, I believe in loyalty. Look, I, I was charged for one reason, to pressure me to testify falsely against Trump. I refused to do that. That, that aggravated a lot of people, and I was marked for destruction. Mm -hmm. uh, it is only through an act of mercy and justice that the president pardoned, my, uh, pardoned me uh, in my conviction. But two years after I was convicted by court order, uh, Robert Mueller and the DOJ are forced to release the redacted section of the report in which they admit they never had any evidence against me of Russian collusion or WikiLeaks collaboration uh, or any other uh, criminal act. So, uh, no, I think good to half the people, I'm a hero. To the half mm -hmm. the people, it's a villain. Uh, I've at least made my mark. It's better than being no one. Yeah. The uh, so you're comfortable being the villain to half of America. I don't. I don't have any choice. It's, it's uh -huh. not a question whether I'm comfortable with it or not. I do. I do find it odd uh, that violence has become, uh, you know, has become acceptable. Words, if I went to a restaurant and I saw someone across the room that I disagreed with politically, I wouldn't mm -hmm. start screaming or throwing things at them or threatening them. I'd ignore them. But that that is that is not the case today. And public shaming. Uh, and violence are all too uh, common. I can't leave South Florida without a professional security. It's not viable. Really? Not viable. Not viable. Some may say that you were the the head of the snake for the how ugly politics is today. Uh, you started what they call negative uh, campaign advertising. Um, do you do you feel any sort of like um, I'm not going to say remorse, but like. Or maybe it's pride that you were kind of the originator of how dirty politics is. Or has it always been this dirty, but you've been sort of nicknamed this dirty trickster, even though that's not the terminology you use, but they use for you. I think you once said on your tombstone, it's not going to say what you describe yourself as the agent provocateur. You're certainly provocative, um, but it will likely say dirty trickster. However, you don't use those words. Correct. So how would you explain that? Uh, you know, Abraham Lincoln's opponents handed out leaflets saying that he was of mixed race. I'm sorry. I didn't I didn't invent negative <laughs> politics. politics. You weren't uh, around in the Lincoln days, uh, is I was, what you're saying? I was not the head of youth for Lincoln. <laughs> uh, the point I'm making is that politics has always been a contact sport in America. Uh, I, I didn't change that. I'm not responsible for that. I have always played uh, the game by the rules and the laws mm -hmm. by which it is regulated. As politics has changed, you have to change. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.